Our industry is at the origin of more than 10% of the greenhouse emission in the world. The impact on the environment is massive. According to United Nations, we need more than 3,200 liters of water to produce a shirt. We cannot continue to produce clothes like we do today. There's been a lot of positive impact of what we've done over the last decades, but we've come to a stage where we need to make a change. Our purpose is for a world we feel proud of. It means that whatever we do in our industry, uh, there is a world behind us. Uh, so we need to be proud of what we're doing. The mission is improve fashion every day. Uh, it means that we have to improve the way we work. And there's a lot of work in that respect. Sustainability has always been part of our DNA in Celtic side. We take care of our people, our employees, we take care of the community around us, around our factory, and we take care of the environment. We know that sustainability is a long journey and we cannot achieve everything alone. We need to create partnership to drive the change. We have a lot of processes to ensure through training, through communication, that the people who work with us feel at home in our organization. Basically, our industry has a very bad reputation for being a polluting industry and the general perception is that, you know, labor is exploited. In the factory, we provide free lunch, we have a doctor on call, we have a crash. So we do things which many factories don't do. Another interesting thing which we do is we, we basically operate a five-day week. We work one Saturday every month. Uh, this is to ensure that they are automatically able to ha have a better work-life balance, which is unheard of in the garment industry. People get to see how other companies in the group are performing. They benchmark their practices with them. So there's a lot of learning. One of the biggest challenges that customers bring to us today is circularity. It's something which is requested by the customer, but also the consumer in the store. So I've worked with CL for many, many years in my career, probably over 25 years actually, through various different uh, retailers I've worked with. And I've known that CL have always been at the very front, and if you like, at the very top of the game when it's come to sustainability, being responsible, whether that be from a social or environmental point of view, as well as very innovative technologies that they've developed on the different products that they work on. So when, when, when we're talking about sustainability, for me, sustainability means things that are relevant to the planet, so the, the environment rather than the social side of things. The social side, so the people side of it, we, we put under a, what we call our ethical trade program, and that is what we call social. So our two pillars, if you like, of the things we do around how we source and where we source are around people and planet, social and environmental. Some of those pillars are around circular design. We've worked very, very closely with CL on, on improving the way that we design our product from the very beginning. So we can design it for a long life, but we can also design it to be easily recycled, put back into the loop and go again. They've also worked very closely with us on innovative materials, such as organic cotton and recycled polyester. So again, always looking to sort of see what's coming down the road uh, and get ahead of the game rather than wait for that to be put in front of them. And that's something that we've collaborated really well on. At Seal Textile, we have nearly 20,000 talents across multiple countries. Each and every of our talent should come at work with their heart and their brain, uh, so that they give the best of who they are. A few years back, we have launched two programs, Act for Community and Act for Environment, to drive the people engagement and the different activities that we are doing in our 18 factories. We know that if we don't make a move quickly, the planet is at risk. So when it comes to our industry, it's going to come next. I mean, if we 
are at the origin of 10% of the greenhouse emission, we have to make a change. What we want to achieve at CF Textile is to, to do it before we are being told to change.